You saw how easy it was in the previous training video how to insert an image into the report. I inserted my uh, logo here, thank you. And I want to show you here how you can easily insert a background image. First of all, what's a background image? Well, it's an image that you can insert into the center of your report that will print off on every page. But it involves some prep work. Prep work on your part and prep work on mine. The prep work for you is to be able to, uh, once you have the image, bleach it out or wash it out so it's not bold in color because you can imagine when you insert that in the center of the report and you got data in front of it, how hard that might be to be able to read the data in front of something that's so bold in color. So go ahead and wash it out, bleach it out, also known as a watermark. Once you have that prepped, then my part is to show you how to clean up the report so once you insert that image as a background that you can actually see it. And what I mean by that is that first, we've got alternating colors here. If I don't turn those off and say no color, it's going to be cutting across that image. So we'll only see parts of the background image. Also, we have the text boxes that have a white background and I need to make those transparent so we can see through and see the background image behind it as well. So to clean it up, let's go up here and right click and change to our design view. And before I do that really quick, up here, if you added a theme that has a color in one of your sections, like my report header, if you want to change that color, just go ahead and select the report header, the uh, bar. When you select that, it actually means that you're selecting the entire section here. And then you want to come up here on the design tab to the tools group, click on the property sheet, or you can close out. You can just double click on that bar really fast brings up the property sheet and it will show you here what you have selected report header Of course if I click off I can also come over here click on the drop down arrow and find the report header I mean it's sorted alphabetically here so down to the R's report header and it selects the bar you may find it advantageous to use the property sheet to select your um, text boxes labels or other objects as opposed to coming in here and clicking on it I built some reports that were very heavy that some of the uh, labels were tiny or crossing over and I couldn't quite get to them. So instead I just came over here, clicked on the drop down arrow, alphabetically selected it and was able to quickly uh, make the format to that selection like we're going to do here. We're on the format tab and I want to be able to uh, change the uh, back color from the current color, which it doesn't give the full name, just part of it. So if I click in it and then click on the build button, you can see it's selected right there when I hover over it. The technical name, at least for access for this color, is dark blue, text to, lighter, 80%. So I can come down here, select another color like white, and that's how you change it. It now added the uh, web code for color, FFFFF. I don't like it. I'm going to go ahead and change it back by hitting the undo button. That's how you can go ahead and change colors that are applied to one section like my report header. Okay, now let's go ahead and clean this report up so when we insert the image, we can actually see it. In fact, let me insert the background image right now so you know what I'm talking about. Let me go ahead and close out of the property sheet. To insert the background image, really simple. Come up here, click on the Format tab, click on the background image. If I already inserted this image before, it'll be there, but if not, you click on your Browse button. And again, by default, it's not going to show you all the files. It'll show you something like Web Ready, which when I'm looking in my Exercises folder, I don't have anything of that file type. So I click on the drop down arrow and choose All Files. Okay, there we go, I can see it. And there it is, Lavender. Now, Lavender is the name of the essential oil. And my company, by the way, is an independent product consultant of essential oils. And so I've got this uh, background image that I want to add to my report here, so I can double-click on it. And notice, after I double-click on it, it's uh, washed out, faded, it's like a watermark. Now, let's see what it looks like when I right-click. And I want to go to Print Preview, because what I see in Print Preview is what's going to come out of my printer. When I click on it, wow, let me scroll down. You see how it's cut up, chopped up, behind those uh, alternating colors and also the text box that have a white background, not a transparent. I've got some work to do. So I'm going to go ahead and um, right click in a blank area, go back to my design view, and let's clean this up. First thing we want to do is select our detail section and bring up the property sheet for it so I can click on it to select it, double click on it to bring up its corresponding properties for that uh, detail section in the property sheet. And you see on the format tab where it says alternate back color, when I click in it, and I click on the Build button, I want no color, okay? So that takes care of that part. Now the next part, let me go ahead and close out. You've got all these text boxes here that have a white background and that are not transparent like the labels. So I won't be able to see the image behind it until I make them transparent. So I want to go ahead and select all of them. And one way to select them, as you recall in an earlier training video, if I hover over to the left-hand side in the vertical ruler, you see how my pointer turns into a black arrow pointing to the right? If I click and hold down my left mouse button and drag, everything that crosses and that's in between those two lines, it'll select. So it selects all of these. 
Then I can bring up the property sheet by coming up here on the design tab to the tools group, click on properties, we're on the format tab. We want the back style, click in the uh, back style uh, corresponding field, click on the drop down arrow, and say we want it transparent. Right now it's normal. It's normal for the text boxes to have a white background, but we don't want to be normal. So we'll select transparent. And we might have selected a label or something that was already had a transparent background. That's why it, it didn't, by default, say normal. Because if there's a mixture of two in the selection, it doesn't know what to say it is, so it just leaves it blank. You can double click really fast to toggle back and forth between the two, in any case. Let me go ahead and close out of here, and let's right click and go to the print preview and see what it looks like. Oh, fabulous. Let's go to page two. Okay, well, let me click on it to zoom out. The data ends up at the top of page two, but it still prints my background image on every page. I click to zoom in. So you can see it's the uh, essential oil lavender. Now for those of you who are curious about what essential oils are and want to learn more about them, basically an essential oil is a plant-derived oil that have been known, in this case lavender and a lot of others, to help with all sorts of human ailments. We have a store page that I can take you to that you can read up more about these oils and make sure that, like these oils, they're certified therapeutic grade. In other words, that the extraction process of these oils happen at the right time in the right season when the uh, plants are in full bloom, but also done in the right method. Not using chemicals to extract it because, well, you can imagine how that could uh, hurt uh, the plant's compounds and not make them as effective as they could be or as potent. So if you're interested and you want to purchase some or read more about it, I'll try to hit two birds with one stone. Let me go ahead and create a hyperlink in my report. That way I can show you how to create a hyperlink in your report. And when you click on it, it'll take you right to my store page. So to get started, let's come up here and right click, go down to the design view. And I want to insert the hyperlink up here in the report header section. So I want to make sure that I click on that report header bar, okay? Then come up here on the design tab to the controls group, and there it is. Click on the hyperlink button, opens it up. And then all you have to do is come down here in the address field and then type in the URL, the website address to my store page. Now when I do that, it's going to do two things. It'll actually add the URL up here in this section and provide a link that I can click on it. But if I don't want the URL to be displayed, but some other text, then type the text up here. And then the URL, then when they click on that text that's displaying, will take them to that web page. So up here, I'm going to type in the name that we go by as the independent product consultant for these uh, certified pure therapeutic grade essential oils. And then our IPC number, again, independent product consultant. If you need that number when you're going through checkout to purchase some of the essential oils, that's 34814. And then down below the address to my web page, the store page, www. Then notice how I type it in. It automatically fills it in because that's what I typed in recently, so it remembers it. Otherwise, if not, just go ahead and keep typing the URL to whatever web page you want to link this to, and then click OK, and there it is. Doesn't look good right there, does it? So let me go ahead and hover over the border until I see the four-way arrow. Click and drag that over, center it right there. And then, of course, when I right-click and go to Print Preview, and let me scroll to the top, the first page on the report. Let me go to the second page. Again, it's the report header, or the heading of the entire report. Doesn't matter how many pages. Let me go ahead and right click, go to the report view, because in this view, I can go ahead and hover over it, click on it, and it will open up the web page to my store. And there I am. Welcome, Kirk Kershaw Store. So you can go ahead and read more about these essential oils and see if they will be a match for you. And then if you need to get a hold of me, you can click on my name there, and it'll take you to a page, and you can go ahead and ask me some questions there. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.